Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Paul Gustafson, and this is Healthy Hypnosis. Uh, this is a show that helps to educate, to enlighten you on the serious-minded, helpful side of the field of hypnotherapy. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, registered nurse, and have been in practice in Burlington now for 12 years as a clinical hypnotherapist. And today's show is going to focus on something that's really cool. It's uh, gastric band hypnosis. And this is uh, a technique that began over in Great Britain, became very popular, uh, very effective um, over in the UK, and it has been spreading very quickly over to the US. And I've been focusing on gastric band hypnosis now uh, since last summer, uh, 2011. And um, I was contacted by the folks at Groupon um, in the fall, and they wanted to feature uh, gastric pain hypnosis in the greater Boston area. So I was, uh, I was uh, pleased to be able to take part in that, um, that offer and uh, was quickly uh, blessed with um, an uh, overwhelming number of uh, clients interested in gastric pain hypnosis. And I, wa I want to talk a little bit about what it is and how it works and maybe just run through the basics of hypnosis and then I've got some video that I want to show you that's going to uh, really go into great detail about this uh, truly unique uh, technique that helps people to cut the cable to the unhealthy patterns and to imagine some pretty amazing uh, amazing things such as surgery. Um, so in a nutshell the hypno hypnosis is the process of accessing the subconscious and it gives us the opportunity to unplug and delete uh, unwanted patterns and habits and, and plant new seeds that support what we want. And the other great aspect of uh, the subconscious mind is that that's the home of the imagination. And we take advantage of that in a big way with the gastric BM program. Um, the gastric BM program that I, that I offer involves four sessions and the first session is the session that we cut the connection from the unhealthy, the unwanted, the unproductive patterns, um, patterns of unhealthy nutrition um, and emotional eating. And those, those patterns are severed in session one. And, and then we get into the pre-op testing and clients are imagining themselves going to the hospital to have lab work done and x-rays taken. And they're, uh, they're meeting the nutritionist and of course they're meeting the surgeon who is gonna be uh, doing the, the operation. And then in the second, the second session, they'll come back in about a week's time, and, and they're actually going through the imaginary process of getting gastric band surgery. And before we, before we get into that session, they'll watch a, a short animated video that brings them through the process of what real life gastric band surgery is. And then we'll go into hypnosis and we'll, uh, we'll get into that process of imagining real surgery with the sound effects of the operating room and all of the details of what one might experience in real life. The third session involves them going back to the surgeon to get their gastric band uh, adjusted, and then the fourth session is moving into their future and starting to imagine the type of fitness success that they, they, uh, they want for themselves. And it's that type of imagery that really creates uh, dramatic change with this process. And lastly, before we get into the video, um, the reason it's so effective is the universal first response or thought that people have at the, at the mention of gastric band surgery is quick weight loss. We blend in the creative qualities of hypnosis and it just seems to be the perfect storm. So it's it's uniquely effective technique and I'm really excited to, to be a part of it. And in fact, I've just recently had one of my gastric band clients on to talk about her experience. So uh, hopefully you'll be seeing that episode as well. So that's my little pre-talk, and I want to go right to the video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll uh, check back with you on the other side. Very common procedure now. It's typically done laparoscopically, meaning through a small incision with a tube-like instrument where you actually go in and you put a band around the junction of the esophagus and the head of the stomach. And what that does is just less food is, is allowed to enter into your stomach. So you have to eat less and you have to eat more slowly. And, and what that does over time, Americans you definitely with will the obesity lose epidemic, more and more turning to surgery as a way to lose weight. But what if you could reap all the benefits of surgery without having to go under the knife? ABC's Juju Chang reports on the gastric mind game. Marianne 
Gonzaga is on a gurney, about to have gastric band surgery. She smells anesthetic, hears operating room staff, and feels doctors putting a band around her stomach. It's an operation that happens tens of thousands of times a year. But what makes this procedure unique is that none of it is real. You feel relaxed. It's all taking place in Marianne's mind. It's called gastric mind band, and it's done through hypnosis. The treatment is the brainchild of hypnotherapists Martin and Marion Sheeran, who run a clinic in Europe. They got the idea a few years ago from a patient. She said, my next door neighbor's just been in hospital and paid a lot of money, had a gastric band fitted, and I just thought maybe if I came in to see you, you could hypnotize me to make me think I've had one done. Much cheaper, no surgery. And, and a we, clever patient. Yeah. <laughs> The idea is to fight obesity mentally. The intensive four-day program also includes behavior therapy to help patients understand what triggers their eating and resist temptation. But it culminates in the gastric band hypnosis session. We create smells into the room and have background noises because the more sensors that are involved in the whole process, the stronger the suggestion is. I have to say, it sounds like you're waving a magic wand over someone. Is that what this is? No, it's far from that. It's, it's got to come from the person themselves. The shrimp are good. Which like brings us back to Marianne. Last year, at 325 pounds, she was ready for a change after struggling with her weight for most of her 47 years. My weight controlled my life. I was more a homebody. It probably prevented me from dating a lot and just doing everyday things. You were really this close to trying the surgery. Yes, I already went to my doctor, consulted with her. But instead of surgery, she went to see Hazel Newsom, the only hypnotherapist in the U.S. trained by the Sheerans in the gastric mind band. We've had weight loss hypnosis for quite some time. This is different. Yes, they absolutely do believe that they have a smaller capacity to eat. Yes. So in your mind, you have a band around your stomach. Yes. And that feels real to you. Yes. Immediately after I left, I felt different. How long did it take before the weight started coming off? It just felt like it melted off of my body overnight. This is her before. This is her now. I've, yesterday was 10 months and I've lost 120 pounds. How do you explain how that happened? Through my subconscious, through my mind. My mind controls what goes into my body. Their European clinic has been so successful, the Sheerans will now offer their $3,000 therapy here in New York. I'm a journalist, so I'm paid to be skeptical because $3,000 is an awful lot of money to be paying for what is essentially an unproven treatment. Type 2 diabetes is also very, very expensive on your health. I don't actually know whether you can compare, if you can put a price on it, what, what someone's getting. You have a six-month waiting list. Mm. What explains that, do you think, Marion? Because word has spread now, and we've had such a good success rate. Over the course of the last four years, we've treated just over 400 people with this treatment. The success rate has been very, very high, over 74%. There's been no sort of rigorous scientific study of whether or not your process works yet. And in many ways, it's unproven. You're dead right. You know, a, a pure medical paper will probably be the next step for us. But Marianne has all the proof she needs. She says she doesn't just have a new body, but a new life as well. How would you describe yourself then versus now? I'm dating. Um, I go out a lot more. I'm more confident. I feel like I'm living my life now. So you genuinely feel like a changed woman? I do. It's fascinating, you know, and it actually worked for her. Yeah. Here's a mother and daughter who between them lost five stone in just 12 weeks after being, would you believe, hypnotised into believing that they had a gastric band fitted. Yeah, they had an op, but they hadn't, of course. Mum Kerry and daughter Amy join me now along with Dr Hilary. Congratulations on losing the weight. Absolutely amazing. But what an extraordinary story. So now, it, it kind of started, didn't it, Kerry, because you, you had a, a heart attack, didn't you? Yes, I did. You were overweight, not looking after yourself as much as you should. Right. And that was a big wake-up call, wasn't it? It was. It was a big wake-up call at, at the age that I was and with the family and the mm. grandchildren I knew that something had to be done no absolutely what age are you just now 51 51 you're what a mere stripling <laughs> <laughs> same age we are so you knew that you had to do something yes and had you heard about this whole hypnotist thing how would you find out um, about it I knew that 
uh, gastric band hypnotherapy was about. Right. So my friend had given up smoking and she was hypnotised. Ah, right. So because it had worked for her doing the smoking, I contacted the hypnotherapist right. for the gastric band. Ooh. And... Uh, we went from there. Because did you not fancy going down the road of an operation? Because it's a big deal, you know, no, yeah. nobody should do that lately. Couldn't afford eight and a half thousand pounds. Ah, there is always that, isn't there? Because that's the thing about this. I mean, it's, it's not inexpensive, it's not cheap, but it's an awful lot cheaper than eight and a half lot, thousand yeah. pounds, for goodness yes. sake. So when did you decide to follow your mum, or was it something that Just you both talked about? Just after she had the heart attack that she oh. mentioned to us that she was going for the hypnotherapy. Right. So I booked him for the week after that she had a Because you thought you wanted to do it too, because I know you'd been trying to lose weight, yeah, Amy, hadn't yeah. you? You'd, be, you'd been trying to lose weight, you'd done the whole kind of eating properly and... Exercising. Exercising and all of that, and it just wasn't happening. Well, yeah, I'd lost two stone mm. on my own, um, but then I got to sort of a plateau that yeah, I couldn't, it wasn't couldn't shift anything else. Oh, and that's really, really annoying. It happens yeah. an awful lot. So this whole process, you're obviously awake, kind of, but you're in a, no, you know, you're in a trance, you're hypnotised. Um, are you aware of, of what he's saying to you? Yes, yeah, yeah. totally. And is he, is he talking <clears throat> you through as if you're having an operation? Yes, he oh, tells yeah. you to imagine that you're in the, the first few days he's talking to you what he's going to do right. and putting you under. But on the day of the operation, he tells you that you're in the operating theatre. Um, he's going to do some keyhole surgery. Right. And he talks you through the whole thing wow. that he's doing, how he puts some CO2 in your stomach to blow it up to be able to get in there yeah, and amazing. tighten the band. Um, so it's all in there, so it's all, he's, he's saying that. Did you feel pain when you woke up? Did you feel as if you'd had no, an operation? It doesn't touch you or anything. Right, so, so it's, not, it's not that graphic no, then. No, but that's no quite pain. good. There's no scar and there's no pain, no, so that's good. Yes. But, but you, did you feel right away that you didn't want to eat as much? Yes, the really? first two days you have to have just liquid, uh -huh. like you would if you've had... Oh, OK, so it's like the post op yes. okay. And then for two weeks after that you have to eat baby food, mooly food, right. to give it time to heal. Right. And then after that, you go on to the really small portions of right. normal eating. But Amy, in your head, you know that you've not had this operation, so I, I, I find it astonishing that it works, because you, like know, you know you didn't. Brain. Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, he hypnotised me out of um, bread, chocolate and crisps. So ever since the day that he hypnotised me on that, it was before the operation, I haven't touched bread, chocolate or crisps. Oh, that's amazing. I look at it all and think... That's nice, looks nice. Yeah, but but no. I don't get that urge to eat it. Right. So you're eating far, far smaller portions. Yeah. And I'm not eating the bread and right. the chocolate. And, the and how much have you lost, both of you? With the hypnotherapy, I've just lost three stone now. Three stone? Yeah. That's fantastic. And I've lost just over two and a half. That's amazing. You must feel so much better. We do. How long, did, how long does this last, though, do you think? Is, did he say? It's for life. Oh, right, OK. Should do you have to be. go and get top, top? He said you can, but you don't have to. It's not, not what you have to do. That's amazing, isn't yeah. it, Helene? An awful lot cheaper, you know? And, and, and we know that there's this chap at the moment that's suing the NHS, isn't it? Because he wants a gastric band operation. Mm. And he's suing them. Um, it's a guy called Tom Condliffe. He weighs 22 stone. And he's not considered by the NHS fat enough to get the band, so he's suing them. So maybe this is the road we should go down with him. Well, I mean, it's a much safer procedure, yeah. isn't it? And it's, uh, and it's much less expensive. Um, and the, the power of hypnotherapy should not be underestimated. Mm. I mean, we can treat addictions, we can treat, and this is an, an addiction, uh, with, with food anyway, but um, with the right technique and the right therapist, if you can get someone who's already motivated, because that's really important, they, someone has to be motivated in order for hypnotherapy to work. Sure. Yeah. But if you get them for a few sessions, you can retrain the mind to believe that something's happened yeah. that drastically changes one's eating behaviour. Now, you, you asked a very important question, how long does it last? And the mm. question is, we don't know yet. Um, hopefully, it will last forever, uh, because having lost the weight, you're more motivated to continue and of maintain course, it. Of course, of um, course. But we need to look at the long term, because it's only been done for, for this kind mm. of problem in, in the recent past. So we need to look at that. But here we have two highly motivated, highly successful yeah. ladies who've lost weight and are still losing weight. Yeah. And you've got a golf ball in your hand there, mm. Kelly. Tell us oh, about that. What's that for? The, the golf ball um, was given to us before we had the operation right. to say that this is our stomach and to think of our stomach as that's a golf volume. ball oh, size gotcha. of that. and that's mm. the size of your stomach from right. now on. Take it everywhere you go and to, to think you. that that is the portion of food that oh, you I should see, not right. be 
uh, well, that makes have any more than that anymore. Good yeah. 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 I mean, in some parts of the world where we don't have uh, general anaesthesia so often in China, they can mm. do operations, major mm. operations under anaesthetic, under, under hypnotherapy, yeah. provided people have had the training. Exactly. It takes a long time to get that far, but it is possible. Do you know, it's brilliant. It's worked for you. Really pleased that it has. Just keep going. Keep going. Really lovely to meet you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, Hilary. This overweight patient is undergoing bariatric surgery. It's more commonly known as a gastric band operation and involves fitting an adjustable band around the top of their stomach. This band creates a pouch at the top of their stomach about the size of a golf ball and so drastically limits the amount of food that the person can eat. As with all major surgery, its success isn't guaranteed and it carries the usual risks of infection and complications. The patient will need to stay in hospital overnight and will normally... experience post-operative pain. Only certain overweight people can have the procedure on the NHS. Others will have to be treated privately, which can be expensive. So gastric band surgery is certainly not something to be entered into lightly. There is, however, an alternative, one that doesn't involve surgery and has a similar success rate, and it's only a fraction of the cost of the operation. The gastric mind band. Conceived and developed by Martin and Marion Schoen at the Elite Clinic in Spain. The gastric mind band procedure, which they developed, has not gone unnoticed by the world's media and has been featured in many national newspapers, including The Times, The Daily Telegraph, The Daily Mail, and The Daily Express. It's also been featured by numerous magazines, including Vogue. Easy Living, Hello, Marie Claire, and Good Housekeeping, to name just a few. Martin and Marion Schuren are professional hypnotherapists. They founded the elite clinic near Marbella on Spain's Costa del Sol in 2003. The reputation of the clinic quickly spread, attracting many clients, including a number of celebrities from across Europe. The clinic offers treatment for major addictions, depression, fears, phobias, and panic attacks. But it was a chance remark by a client that was to dramatically change Martin and Marion's lives, and those of hundreds of other people too. That one remark set the ball rolling on the development of a treatment which has now become a worldwide phenomenon in the field of weight loss and has now been featured on television on both sides of the Atlantic. It's the question that everybody asks. It came from a past client who'd been to see us to stop smoking and the treatment had been very successful but she carried on putting on weight ever since. And so she asked me if we could hypnotise her to make her think she's had a gastric band done, just the same as we'd hypnotise her to stop her smoking. 
I thought it was quite funny. And Mary and I s we spoke about it that evening. And Mary came up with the idea and said, well, why not? Why don't we develop a therapy? And that was the start of two years of hard work, lots of research, lots of development, trying it out on many, many different people. And the result, of course, has been the development of the gastric mind band therapy. That was the light bulb moment that started two years of research and trials, which resulted in the gastric mind band procedure as it is today, a real alternative to invasive surgery. As I was getting ready for retirement, I knew that mobility was an issue and I had to do something. And I did even consider um, looking at the actual surgery. And then I happened to see an article in the newspaper about a reporter who'd um, had the gastric mind band treatment. And that seemed to me to be uh, a very good alternative. I wasn't keen on the idea of uh, choosing surgery if it wasn't absolutely medically necessary. And so this seemed you know, the perfect answer to, to try. During the development of the procedure, Martin and Marion realized that although it's very powerful, hypnosis alone was not enough to help clients to lose weight permanently. So, the couple combined cognitive behavior therapy and neuro-linguistic programming with hypnotherapy to produce something that is unique to them, the gastric mind band therapy. The procedure has now attracted the interest of the medical profession and other therapists from around the world and is now trademarked in both Europe and the USA. Since its launch, Martin and Marion have become specialists in the treatment of obesity, having now spent thousands of hours in one-to-one -one sessions with many different clients, all of them desperate to lose weight, each one with their own food-related issues. In addition to the therapies that we use, we developed our own unique approach, which we call pause button therapy. And that really does make us stand apart from everybody else in the marketplace. The clinic is packed with a range of advanced medical testing equipment. For example, the very latest core MetaCheck equipment developed in the USA, which can measure a patient's exact metabolic rate. The clinic also uses a tinnitus system to provide details of a patient's body composition and visceral fat levels. We've invested a lot of money, a lot of time in getting the whole process of the gastric mind band therapy just exactly to the level we wanted it to be. We have, since we launched, seen many other people come into the marketplace. Some professional, some maybe not so, but our attention to detail is what's always kept us above the marketplace. Another reason that the gastric mind band is so highly regarded is the patient aftercare that is provided. Before they leave the clinic, each patient is given a unique set of tools to help them during the all-important first few weeks. These include a detailed manual and a set of six audio CDs covering every aspect of their treatment. The success and growth of the gastric mind band procedure has been amazing. Last year, the book Shiran's Solution, The Gastric Mind Band, which accompanies the procedure, was published and serialized in the Daily Mail. The story was then featured on ABC Television News and Good Morning America. And Martin and Marion have now licensed a small number of qualified therapists to provide the procedure in the USA. That's you there, believe it or yes, not. I mean, you wouldn't is. think that's the same lady when you look at you now. That no, is that amazing. The Absolutely. last week in July last year. And look at you there. How yeah. much have you lost all in all? Seven you stone. Seven stone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. But the, the thought of electing for surgery when it isn't medically necessary. I'm, I'm with you. I, I wasn't understand. comfortable with that yeah, at all. I understand. Um, and then by chance, I saw an article about somebody who'd had gastric mind band. Gastric and mind band, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I just Googled gastric mind band and uh, found contact with, with a clinic that, that does that um, mm. and it happened to be in, in Spain. What's interesting is that a lot of people would say it's not guaranteed mm -hmm. to, to work in the future, but actually losing the seven stones is such a good oh, incentive amazing. Yes, uh, amazing. and a yes. positive affirmation that it can Absolutely. be done, it yeah. probably will stay off. It has changed my way of thinking about food and weight loss and I haven't looked back since. This really has changed my life and it's been so easy to lose the weight. It's just been falling off week by week. I reached my goal weight several months ago now and it's been so easy to carry on with it. I so oh, the battle of the bulge. It's not an easy fight to win, and while eating less and exercising more seems simple enough in theory, many people looking to lose weight find it to be a constant struggle. 
But what if you could program your mind to believe that your stomach has shrunk, making you eat less and ultimately lose weight? One Suncoast woman says it's possible. ABC 7's Fallon Silcox is here with details on that. Fallon? Lauren, Rena Greenberg is a nationally known hypnotherapist, and over the last year, she started practicing gastric bypass hypnosis surgery here on the Suncoast. She says the results her clients have seen are the same as if they've had the actual surgery. Now, Greenberg said people through the process of the weight loss surgery hypnotically. And when they wake up, she says they report feeling stomachs have physically shrunk and they're no longer able to eat large portions of food. There is no other way to lose weight except to eat less and exercise more. I mean, we all know that. And if, if someone's thinking that hypnosis is a magic wand, it's not. But hypnosis is an incredibly powerful tool to help us to get the right mindset so that we can eat less and exercise more without feeling deprived, without feeling denied. So it literally becomes the new normal. The mind doesn't care what we're doing. It's just running on a program. So what I'm doing now to help people lose weight is I'm helping them to change that program. I'm actually using hypnosis as a tool to help people go in and rewrite that automatic program. Rena's helped many of her clients not only lose weight, but keep it off. And she says it's all about changing the way you think. And to help people do that, she's taking them through a gastric bypass surgery, but without the knife, without the doctor, and without any anesthesia. People would say to me, going through the process hypnotically, you know, we, we, I guide them through the surgery, and people would say, I actually felt like my stomach has shrunk. It's tighter, but in a positive way. You know, I could feel that band. I could feel like I just couldn't eat any more food. It would make me, it would be too much. Now, I also spoke with one of Sarasota Memorial's registered dietitians today. She agrees with Greenberg that there is no other way to lose weight other than eating less and exercising more. But she says hypnosis can be a very powerful tool for people wanting to lose weight. Registered dietitian Laura McElroy says the mind is definitely an important part of the weight loss equation, although it still comes down to exercise and diet. Being hypnotized can be a tool to help you in your weight loss plan, but it's only one aspect of this whole, you know, approach to managing your weight. Greenberg says she has dozens of clients who've gone through the gastric bypass hypnosis surgery and they've all experienced positive results. She says the process is complete within a couple of sessions. Now So now you know everything there is to know about gastric band hypnosis. It's a fascinating field, and it's uh, like catching lightning in a bottle, it seems. People just respond to it so quickly, and it's just comfortably easy for them to start eating less and weighing less. Well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Paul Gustafson. This has been Healthy Hypnosis, and keep us in mind down the road. We've got some great programs coming your way. Thanks.